All right, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to take you through basically our fit process. We're going to break it down into a couple of different steps. Uh, first, I would talk with, uh, talk with you about kind of what you're going to be using the shoes for, what issues you have, any injuries or pain or anything like that, um, what shoes you liked in the past, what you didn't, um, and then I'll have you slip off your socks. Okay, all right, and then we're going to have you walk barefoot, so you're going to come right over here and just walk towards that rack of clothes right there. Okay. Good. All right, so what we're seeing there is your feet are pretty neutral, but especially on that left foot, you do have a little more rotation on that ankle. Um, so with that, what I'd like to do is put you in a neutral shoe, and then I'd like to look at inserts too to kind of control that excess movement. Uh, especially in that left foot. Uh, and then just to bring the shoe uh, a little bit more close to the yard shed, customize the fit a little bit for you. So, then we're gonna grab the fit ID here. We will email you the 3D image of your foot, which you can look at from all different angles, uh, and it'll also give about 12 different points of measurement. So uh, really get a good idea of the shape and the size of uh, every part of the foot. So go ahead and step on up there, one foot in each rectangle. All right. Okay. And look straight ahead for me. And it just takes a few seconds uh, to get this 3D image of your foot. All right, you're about between an eight and a half and nine in your shoe size, or in your foot size. So we go up to at least a nine and a half, maybe a ten in a shoe size, uh, just to get that length. Uh, nine and a half is probably going to work uh, well for you, but we want to make sure that left foot isn't isn't too close to the end of the shoe. Uh, another thing I notice is is your feet are uh, between a C and a D, so we do want to look at something that's uh, a lot wider through the forefoot. Maybe even if we were looking at road shoes, go up to a true wide, uh, which we don't carry. In, uh, in trail shoes, but the uh, good thing is a lot of trail shoes have really wide toe boxes anyway, so it should fit really well. Um, so your arch height, you can see it's pretty high. Uh, it's that left foot that's just a little bit more kind of uh, falling to the inside a little bit. Uh, Instep heights too, so that tells me that's just literally the height of the foot. Um, so we want to make sure that the foot has plenty of volume this way as well as this way. Uh, heel width is regular. And then we can look at the shape of the shoe from a lot of different angles. So you can kind of see that V shape, so that wide forefoot and that narrow heel um, is what we'll look for shape-wise. Uh, and then if we look at it from the back, you can kind of see how that left foot, uh, Achilles is kind of curved and you can see that left foot kind of rotating to the inside. So whereas that right foot is pretty much straight up and down, there's no rotation. Like that. And you can kind of see that from the front. It's a little harder to tell from the front, but and if we look at it from the top. So is her Achilles like permanently? That's just the no, it's just flexibility in the foot. Mm -hmm. okay. So that this sub tailor joint is the one that kind of controls the arch right there, and that's what's kind of flexible and kind of rolling to the inside. It's sub tailor joint and then the ankle joint right there. Okay. All right, and then we would go grab about three pairs of shoes usually, and maybe two pairs of inserts to try out. Uh, we'll take you through them. We'll see which one feels the best. Uh, we'll try on socks, uh, shoes, inserts if we think it can benefit you. Uh, and then we'll look at uh, anything else in the store and talk through nutrition or apparel or anything else. Yeah.